It's time for Mass Appeal's Pet of the Week, and today we're going to introduce four mini Rex rabbits, Lainey, Megan, Princess, and Whisper, and they are all looking for a lovely place to call home. And here to tell you all about them are Candy Lash and Debbie Bonaconti from Dakin Piner Valley Humane Society. Great to have you both here, Candy and Debbie. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. And of course, all the bunnies. Too. <laughs> and all the bunnies. And if I can just say, we had to do a quick switcheroo yeah. on the way out the door because the mom of Lainey and Megan got a little nervous this morning, so we decided we didn't want to stress her out, and we brought a buddy that's used to dogs and cats, <laughs> and her name is Stacy. So Stacy is, she, is Stacy's an Angora? She's a, lion, a, a mini lion head. Yep. Well, some bunnies just don't like to be on camera. They don't. They're a little <laughs> shy. So you were telling me earlier, these guys are real friendly. I could get there in the pen with them, and they'd really enjoy it. Yeah, absolutely. Deb is our bunny expert, so I'll let Deb tell you yeah. all about them. The best way to actually let a rabbit get to know you when you first take it home is to have a pen, sit in there, completely ignore it. Read a book, if you're in school, do some homework. When you're not paying attention, they want to know what's going on. They'll climb on you, sniff <laughs> you, lay down, take a nap, they'll hop all over you. I, guess, oh. I mean, I'm no parent, but that's how it works with kids, too, right? <laughs> if, if you want them to get your attention, you don't pay attention to them, and then they'll pay attention to you. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It's one of the we best ways. And we actually have volunteers that come in. They'll sit and read to the bunnies and just relax with them. And it's wonderful. It's a great opportunity for them to visit and get to know people and spend more time around people. Everybody it's wins. For adults yeah. Too. Yes. So now, not not all bunnies are comfortable with other animals. Is that true? Or are they mostly adaptable to any environment? They can be adaptable. Um, baby steps. We have some really great handouts we can give to adopters about rabbits and dogs, rabbits and cats, rabbits and other rabbits. Um, we'll take time regardless as well to get to know each other. Um, some rabbits come into us already having some of that experience. Um, little Stacy here went into foster. She was a little neglected when she came into us, needed some extra TLC, and well in foster, hung out with the cat, hung out with the dog. She actually kicked the dog off the bed, off of his dog bed, and slept on his bed, the dog at the floor. <laughs> so it was very adorable. Wow, wow, yeah. Stacy. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I, I've never owned a bunny before, but if I were to get a bunny and, and get one at Dakin, what are things I'd need, like a bunny starter kit? Um, Cage-wise, habitat will say, you can do anything from a large dog crate works very well. A pen, if you have a spare room, even better. They'll love to hop around, bunny proof it, just hide your wires. Um, they'll hop around and, and explore, find places to flop. Um, litter box is perfect because they are litter box trainable. By the time they leave Dakin, they're actually usually pretty good with their litter box. Um, you can do, as you see, paper in the box. We do hay and paper separate to save on hay so you're not throwing as much out. Good idea. Um, anything cardboard-wise in your house, your trash is their treasure. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's Tubes nice. Yeah. The toilet paper, paper towels. Right. And then um, we also have a little hidey box over there, and they love the, a place to go in and hop on or tuck in and just feel comfortable and not expensive. You just take a, a box and recycle it, cut a little hole out, and there you go, hidey box. Yeah, right. that, that's uh -huh. perfect. You don't even have to go to the store and get it, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I need a hidey box sometimes <laughs> to get away a little bit. The bunnies here in the pen, yes. are they siblings? They're sisters. We actually had four of them come in. And we split them into two pairs. It's a little bit easier than someone trying to take four home. Mm -hmm. um, they're very young. They can go home together, preferably would like them to go as a pair. Um, if you kind of watch them throughout the day, they already groom each other, they sleep next to each other, they smush in the box they together. They look alike. I mean, they, they look do. like twins. They are very, very, there's a few slightly different marks on them to distinguish them, but aside from that, they would love to go home together. They're only about five months. They still need about a good month and a half before they can be spayed. But they're two for one, so their adoption fee is 60 for both, and that includes having them come back to be spayed. So, I mean, you can't get much better than that. Yeah. Wow. And speaking of things like spaying and microchipping candy, you have an upcoming event where low-income families can really get a lot of assistance for their pets. That's right. Coming up this Saturday and the first Saturday of November and December, we're having a low-cost uh, microchip and a rabies parvo distemper vaccination workshop. You can elect all services or just one. The vaccinations are $5. The microchip is $15. There is an exam fee. Um, and it is only for low-income people to help them prevent these deadly dis um, viruses for their animals to, to give them that protection that they might not otherwise be able to afford to get. And also microchipping, which is great because if your animal gets lost, ends up in a hot animal hospital mm -hmm. or exactly. adoption center, that's a good way of getting them home. No appointments necessary. Dogs must be on leash, cats in a carrier. More information is online on our website, but it's this Saturday, 9 to noon. 
great. And also this month coming up on October 19th are the Dakin Humane Awards. Yes, we're very excited. <laughs> Tomorrow is actually the deadline to purchase tickets for that event. It's going to be a great event. We're going to honor seven extraordinary people, two phenomenal superstar dogs. Our featured speaker is going to be um, David Rosenfeld, who is the author of the Attorney Andy Carpenter series, and also, also a dog rescuer in his own right. He and his wife started the Terra Foundation and have so far rescued and placed 4,000 dogs, mainly Goldens, into new homes. So I think he's going to be wonderful. He's got a great experience. He worked for TriStar Pictures, and he's just his whole life is a journey and adventure that's going to be a, a lot of speaker, fun to hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah nice absolutely. stories to hear at that event. Yes, absolutely. Wonderful. Sounds like it's going to be wonderful. So, Debbie, it's great to have you here. Thank You're you. the resident bunny expert, right? <laughs> yep. Thank you so much for joining us today, Candy. As always, so nice to have you as well. Thank you very much. So, to make these cute little rabbits the newest members of your family, you can call Dakin at 781-4000, or you can visit our website, mymassappeal.com, later today for more information. And don't go anywhere. There's more Mass Appeal coming up right after this.